guys, welcome back. I hope you all are doing fine in Corona times. So today's video is going to be about the fifth body chakra. Gosh, we are so close to completing all the seven chakras. Only two more left. Yay! So let's quickly get started with today's video. So the fifth chakra is known as the Vishuddha, also referred as the throat chakra. Now what Vishuddha means in Sanskrit is Shuddha means pure and V means very. So Vishuddha together means very pure. Also this chakra is considered to be a very powerful energy center in your body because firstly it lies above all the other chakras in your body and secondly it has the power to block or allow any energy or anything that is trying to enter inside your body. So if you try to relate this on a physical terms you will notice that whenever a foreign body, a bacteria or a virus tries to enter a system our body tries to block it right there at the initial point that is the throat and hence we suffer from throat infections our body works in such a smart and brilliant way it tries to give us signals ki abhi tumko throat infection hua hai so you better take care of it right now at this stage otherwise you're going to suffer from cough and cold related problems these are the signs that our body has always been giving us but we never try to interpret it properly or we just tend to ignore it because nobody taught us about the mechanics of the body. Number one symbol. The symbol of this chakra has a 16 petaled blue colored lotus. This blue color can be a sky blue or a turquoise color. Number two, location. The location of this chakra, as everybody can guess by the name, is at the throat. That means the center of your neck, which can be seen in this image. Number three, element. The element of this chakra is ether, that is space. Number four, seed sound. The seed sound of this chakra is hum. And number five, the main characteristic of this chakra is, guess, what do we use our throat for most of the times? Communication. As you all know, there's going to be a mental and spiritual characteristic and a physical characteristic. First, mental and spiritual. So this chakra is considered to be the center for communication, that is expression and a center for creativity. And consciousness then physical characteristic this chakra governs the thyroid gland larynx pharynx esophagus your lungs your ears jaw mouth and your neck now number six the signs which will help you to identify whether your chakra is in balanced or imbalanced nature first balance signs if this chakra is balanced in your body you will be having a good thyroid and dental health balanced hormones also you'll be having relaxed shoulders and neck also you are very honest in nature you can express yourself freely you have good communication skills you are confident in your speech you are non-judgmental about others you don't judge people you listen and respect to others opinions and their point of views also, you are very creative in nature. Now, this creativity can be singing, dancing, painting. Not only limited to these things, but it can be anything like maybe cooking. That's also a form of creativity. Maybe coding. Now, imbalance signs. If this chakra is imbalanced in your body, you will be suffering from chronic throat issues, thyroid imbalances, hormonal imbalances, dental issues. You'll be having speech and hearing difficulties. Also, you'll be having neck and shoulder pain. Then you're not very honest in nature. You have these tendencies of habitually lying about something in your life. Then you're very judgmental about others. You don't listen and respect to other people's opinions. You are not very good in communication. Either you are too talkative or too shy. You cannot express yourself very well. And also because you lack the skill of expression, 
you have a blocked creative flow. And lastly, number seven, the methods that will help you to balance this chakra. As you know, the color of this chakra is blue. So use blue in your life. Wear blue like I am wearing right now. <laughs> Eat blue. I know there are hardly any food items that are blue in color. I can only think of blueberries. If you find any blue food items, let me know. Even I'll eat them. And I know blueberries are a little purplish in color but it's okay let's not get into the statistics of the colors then exercise try to do asanas that will help you to relax your shoulder your neck your back muscles keep in check with your dental health you know brush twice daily gargle your mouth with salt water drink warm water as and when you wake up early in the, early in the morning this will help you to flush out all the toxins from your body very basic simple things also be vocal vocalize your feelings your emotions your thoughts your ideas with any in any way or with anyone that you are comfortable with do creative activities indulge in creative activities like painting sketching writing singing anything anything that you feel is the best creative activity for you to let out your emotions you don't have to be best at it you don't have to win an award for it you know, just enjoy. Also, stop judging people. This is something we really need to work on. Even I need to. You know, people are trying to be a better version of themselves on a daily basis. They have their own struggles, experiences, problems. You don't have to always be judgmental about them. Respect people's opinions and their point of view on something. You might sometimes agree with them. Sometimes you might disagree with them. Agree to disagree but when you're disagreeing with them communicate that disagreement in a proper manner you don't have to be rude rather be at a place where you are in where you're like it's okay i think you are right at your own place i am right at my own place be in a more acceptive nature you know this is something even i have been working on because even i had this attitude for many years where i was like Mitchani, tu kon? Who are you to tell me? <laughs> but no, this is not right. Just because you are right doesn't make the other person wrong. You both can be right at your own places. So I am trying. I am trying, guys, to be more open-minded and acceptive in nature. You know, it is on you whether you want to change for good or you want to change for bad for yourself as well as others and lastly sing chant hum meditate there's this beautiful breathing exercise in yoga known as brahmari pranayama which has amazing benefits on a physical and emotional level physically it works on your larynx that is your sound box and emotionally it helps you to get rid of all that anger frustration agitation helping you to calm your mind and your body. If you want to know about this pranayama more, let me know. I'll make a video about it. So yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you liked the information that I have shared about the fifth chakra, Vishuddha, the throat chakra. I hope my videos are helping you in a positive way, helping you to grow and enrich the quality of your life. That's all I want. So yeah, I'll be back with another video soon. Until then, as I always say, love, power, and strength.